finally become half crazed with horror and grief at the, at the state of the world, who was looking for some enlightenment. So, in 74, there came upon me at the trough of my life, at the point where I saw nothing but inexplicable suffering, there came to me the beatific vision, which calmed all my sense of horror at the world and my sense of the transcendent power of evil. And on the basis of this vision, we're speaking now of a time slightly over five years ago, just a bit over five years ago, I set out to write a book in which this was expressed in a, in a way that made rational sense rather than simply mystical sense, that my mystical experience with the beatific vision had to be formulated into some rational structure that could be transferred to other people. What did this amount to philosophically? Uh, my mental anguish was simply removed from me. You know, as if by a divine fiat, you know, that God... This just happened to you on your own? Yes. No one else on yes, it just happened to me on my own. Uh, it was as if the primordial curse or fall had lifted from me, you know, and that I was restored, healed. It was a sort of, you know, uh, intervention of a kind of a psychological, mystical type, which I described in Vallis my new book. Valis, V-A-L-I-S, it stands for Vast Active Living Intelligence System. What happened was that some transcendent divine power, which was not evil but was benign, intervened to restore my mind, to heal, heal my mind and heal my body and give me a sense of the beauty of the world, the joy of the world, the, the sanity of the world. And out of this, I forged a concept which is relatively simple and possibly unique in theology. And that is the basis of my insight, and it took me four and a half years to formulate it after this experience is that the irrational is the primordial stratum of the universe. It comes first in time and it is primary in ontology, in, in levels of, of, of essence. And it evolves from irrationality, chaos, and blindness <coughs> into rationality. That is, the irrational gives birth to the rational. And that the history of the universe is a movement from irrationality, which means chaos, cruelty, blindness, pointlessness, generates evolutionarily a rational structure which is harmonious, which interlocks, which, which is interlinked in a, in a way where it is orderly and beautiful and harmonious. But that the, this comes into existence only fitfully, slowly, sporadically, uh, like lightning discharges here and there. That it's not ubiquitous, as I supposed in the novel Ubik. That it's, it's, uh, it's found in, in Jewish mysticism as it's called the Shekinah, which means divine presence. And the theory is that it's only intermittent and, and from time to time and from place to place. Now, I conceived of it as evolving out of the irrational, that the, that the primordial creator deity, the way I, the way I express it, Vels, is the primordial creator deity was essentially deranged from our standpoint, that we are, as humans, a, an evolution above the primordial 
primordial deity. We actually stand, it is somebody in the Middle Ages once said, we are pygmies, but we stand on the shoulders of giants, and therefore we see more than they see. We human beings are created, and yet we are more rational than the creator himself, who spawned us. Oh, 